Here I'm going to show you a great way to stretch the front of the hip, or the iliacus muscle. Most people talk about hip uh, flexors being a psoas, but there is another muscle in there called the iliacus. So some people refer to it as the iliopsoas. I want to isolate the iliacus because sometimes it's overlooked. I have this uh, contraption here called the true stretch, and this is how I would do it in the office. I would throw one leg up behind me, get the knee fixed, so the point of contact here, and I would just push the hip forward, and you can see my sort of femur is being uh, held backwards, and my pelvis is moving forwards, and I've got a great stretch here. I'd hold on both sides for a little bit of stability, and then I would either move my pelvis uh, in circles, or I could actually just move my upper body in rotation and then side bending and that gets the pelvis moving on top of a fixed femur. So at home, the way you recreate that stretch is to take a chair, just put your leg or your knee on the chair, and drive forward, feeling a stretch into the front of your hip, and hold on to something for a little bit of stability. To show you how to do that on the other leg, just simply just change your legs. And then from here, Take my hands up above my head, not reaching backwards too much because then you get, might get a pinch in your lower back, but just going straight up and then leading from side to side to enhance the stretch. And then taking my hands out in front of me and rotating and rotating either side. For numbers of movements, I'll be looking to take my hands side to side, about five sides either, to either side. So 10 movements in total, and then in front again, 5 either side, so 10 movements in total. And I would look to do that for about 3 sets on either side. And that will really loosen up the front of your hips and get those hip flexors more mobile.